episode two of Turkey Tips and Tactics, brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, starts now. Okay, so this episode we're gonna we're gonna call it "Calling All Turkeys." Uh, the reason for that is there's a lot of new turkey hunters too that are out there that don't necessarily know what call does what or why to use this call versus this call. We're gonna go over a little bit of that uh, right now. We're gonna go over the three most commonly used turkey calls. You've got the mouth diaphragm, the friction pot call, and the box call. Let's start with the box call. The box call has been around for years and I've had a lot of successful hunts using this call. Depending on the terrain, uh, because the box call is known for being a loud call that carries a long ways. So if you're hunting in an open area where it's commonly super windy, the box call is a great choice because the noise is going to go a little further. So a lot of times using a box call, you can, you can get the volume up enough and it's got a little bit higher pitch so it cuts through the wind a lot better. So it's going to do, go something like this. So those open areas, those super windy days, no matter where you're at, the box call is a great choice. Secondly, we're going to talk about a pot call, commonly known as, as a friction call. There's multiple different surfaces uh, that these are available in. What it is, you have a wood pot with a friction surface on it. This is your striker here. So implement the turkey sounds by causing friction on this surface here with the striker. This call right here is commonly used amongst turkey hunters everywhere. Reason for that is because you can control the volume. You can get louder if you need to get loud, or you can break it down to real soft clucks and purrs. To try to make that turkey close the distance so you're not screaming at him as he gets closer. The third and probably the most common would be the mouth diaphragm. This call comes in several different cuts and you put it inside your mouth, up against the roof of your mouth to mimic the turkey sounds. You gotta push the air across the reed. Air will, will then go through the call and cause the reeds to vibrate to create sound. This call is very commonly used because if you're hunting with a shotgun or a bow or whatever weapon, your hands are freed up. So you're using your mouth to dictate what the bird's doing to get them to come in a little bit closer so the, your movement is very minimal. So as I mentioned, this episode's called Calling All Turkeys. I went over the three basic turkey calls, probably most used turkey calls offered today. One was the box call. The box call we like to use in those super windy days or real open country because it's going to carry a little bit further. Two, we go to the friction pot call. The friction pot call does come in multiple different surfaces. You have a glass surface, you can have a slate surface. That's a really versatile call because you can be loud and you can also get real soft on it. The third type of call is the mouth diaphragm. The diaphragm call comes in several different cuts. Uh, once you get used to using it, it's a great call to be able to use. The reason for that is because of whether you're gun hunting or bow hunting, uh, whatever method you're using, it minimizes your movement. So therefore, you can just use your mouth as that bird's getting closer, pulling them closer and closer and closer without having to move at all. So thanks for watching the second episode, Calling All Turkeys, of Turkey Tips and Tactics, brought to you by Sportsman Browns. <laughs>